What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest HyperOS and this is the 7th November 2023 build. If you don't know how to flash this ROM, do not worry, I made a separate video about flashing this ROM, just check that out from the description. Now this is of course based on Android 14 and these are the things which are mentioned about this ROM you need to know and there are a couple of bugs and stuff in this ROM, this is not a daily driver ROM but yeah, definitely if you want to test HyperOS on your Redmi Note 10 Pro, this is the ROM you should choose. Now let me show you the home screen this is how it looks like it looks beautiful and it is definitely similar to normal MIUI here and there the icons looks a little bit more poppy and everywhere you will see the new folders and stuff and here let me actually show you you will still get the regular enlarged and the double XL size folders and if you click over here it will expand like this this is the normal system apps folder and the app UIs has improved a lot like the stock apps of this ROM has included new designs I would say you will notice that if you open calculator just notice there is these kind of buttons over here let me just enable the dark theme and here as you can see it shows dark mode on and as you can see this is how it looks like in the dark mode with the calculator and there are more options like the currency length mass etc and this is how their ui actually looks if you go into speed as you can see you will still get squircle kind of buttons over here and it definitely looks really really cool I'll disable the dark theme for the time being and let me show you again the home screen to the left of the home screen we'll get this app vault kind of thing you will be able to add multiple apps as you can see add widget options are here now let's talk about the first things first well here you will not get play store by default but you need to enable that let me show you how you do that if you go into the settings and in the additional settings go to the accounts and sync and over here you will see this google and right here if you click over here you need to turn on this particular toggle which says basic google services once you turn this particular toggle just open your git apps or the me store kind of app and over here just search play store or it will appear in your home screen so you can just install it from right there once you install google play store it will be working perfectly fine but one thing that I do not like about this from that I couldn't simply restore my Google app data backup over here. I just logged in. Yeah, that worked. But app data backup restoring will not work. So it is very annoying for me to install specific apps by selecting them because even I tried with nearby share in the Play Store kind of by sending it from other device. It didn't work. It failed to install most of the apps. If you're noticing this weather widget, it is working perfectly fine. If you click on it, as you can see, it goes straight up into the location. I had to change it from the edit section and I just changed the location over here. Now it is showing the Kolkata weather and there is the calendar right here. And if you open, okay, so it opens the clock, but let me actually try to open the calendar from here, I guess. So it is taking a little bit time to actually open the calendar. But yeah, right now, as you can see, it has opened. You will see a lot of Chinese texts here and there. If you're noticing below the rate, you will see a lot of Chinese texts here and there. Even in the UI while installing apps separately, you will notice some kind of Chinese texts here and there. So this is basically a Chinese HyperOS, which also has Google services enabled. By the way, the quick setting panel look really looks dope over here. And you will notice some different kind of look over here once you are enabling or disabling silent mode. Just notice it looks like that iOS kind of over here. It definitely looks like that iPhone notch kind of behavior. So to me at least, I would say, and it looks really really cool and the volume panel you can just slide it up and down like this it has this gradient kind of look and by the way in the quick setting panel you will notice the animations it's just much more smoother i would say right now because just notice this battery icon once i pull down it just goes right there and if i just swipe up it just goes straight up i'm pretty sure you haven't noticed or expected these kind of smoothness in miui but here this is how smooth it is and right now let me show you the brightness slider it looks very cool once you're sliding up and down and you know which OS it looks similar to even the volume panel looks like this and it has this haptic feedback once I'm doing this and the animation just notice how beautiful it actually looks in the my device section this is how it looks like in the settings panel it has the Xiaomi HyperOS logo and we have the version 1.0.14 and if you just scroll down more we have the detailed specs right here and these are the things you will get over here we have the android version as android 14 and if you click on it we will get the android 14's easter egg looks so beautiful it somehow has the september security patch i would say but that's how it is it is a ported rom by the way in case you are wondering and in the settings panel you will notice it is much more organized than before it doesn't have huge amount of options but everything is separated in these particular options and your me account kind of stuff appears on the top now let's talk about the lock screen well this is how it looks like for me because i have customized it now if you want to customize it as well you need to just tap and hold on this and here 
you have to unlock the device once you do that just notice these are the clocks you will get let's customize this one we have the wallpaper and filter now also we have even more options like these classic options and you can have these filter effects as you can see all these effects it looks like that nothing kind of quiz and it has this matte effect as well in case you need that so yeah definitely you can enable these filters if you want to now again if i go into the lock screen kind of settings and if i go into the like rhombus kind of mode there are new kind of clock look and you can go with any kind of clock look this is the one i should choose as of right now and as you can see it looks like this so yeah definitely looks really really cool and the animations pops out really well i would say so this one as you can see supports the depth kind of effect so notice this is how it will look and if you enable that and you can pinch to zoom it in or out the character and here if i just do this it has that depth kind of effect and here if i apply that let me actually show you so it shows the time like this it shows the date and stuff and which day is it it shows up right here so this is really really cool and here let me show you in the lock screen yes it does that kind of flickering sometimes but otherwise the animation and stuff everywhere looks really awesome in the like always on display and on the lock screen let's apply this magazine one and here all right so this one has a new look as well okay so i have no idea why it's flickering so much these are beta kind of builds guys so it will flicker a little bit that's fine but it actually works that's just really nice to see now one more thing is that in this wallpaper and personalization if you go into the always on display this is huge that you can actually change the display time to always scheduled or just for 10 seconds in case you want to have this always on display so let's test this if the always on display stays right now so yes i think the always on display is actually working it is not turning off after 10 seconds so this is a win because we are getting all the time always on display with these particular clocks it looks so beautiful in the like always on display and even in the lock screen definitely looks super awesome yes it has that flickering but just ignore that let's talk about basic things the air blaster yes it is working perfectly fine and the daring info shows as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p the safety net over here fails actually so banking apps you cannot really use i guess and the google photos does not offer the unlimited google photos backup storage now let's talk about the stock camera well you are getting that miui camera the normal miui camera the colors are really optimized with miui camera no problems but this lens switching i have noticed one thing like once i'm switching the lenses has that uh, super high exposure as you can see once you're switching the screen turns totally white but yeah it stabilizes for like one second it takes but yeah this is how, what i have been noticing otherwise in the video settings you can shoot up to 4k 30ps with rear camera and there is a documents mode and there is the pro mode as well you can shoot videos in the pro mode up to 4k 30ps as well and if you just swipe up you will get the short video panorama vlog slow motion etc all these other modes including with the dual video and stuff everything should be working fine with it no problems with the dual video let's just go back and here we will get the normal movie frame options and stuff and the portrait mode and stuff is also working perfectly fine i'll show you some examples right here so that you can get an idea about the camera quality but yeah having miui camera right out of the box of course is perfectly working in the hyper ways now some of the things that i have noticed over here are really really beautiful like the scanner has actually improved it has this normal scan then we have this scan text and we have the like transfer option we have this create pdf scan table and the ppt we have the card scanning option then the translate option okay so you can only like translate it from chinese to this english french all these languages so this is great of course you can translate chinese language with this particular scanner and we have this translate words as well then we have the normal scanning and it is right now this me ai scanner so that's just really nice to see otherwise everywhere you will see a different kind of look like the file explorer and stuff this is how it looks like right now looks really different it has this me drive right here and even the clock app and stuff has a little bit new animation i would say stopwatch and stuff just notice how smooth these animations are the recorder looks a little similar to me like how it was and it has the silent mode on shows up while you are recording but yeah let's just turn it off and if you have just noticed the animation if i stop it and just go home as you can see it shows it has stopped recording and once you click on it it brings the recorder so that's just awesome and with the miui gallery app it has this edit option and of course this is how it looks like we have the ai option as well in the normal beautification option 
and if you go into erase we have this remove object remove line and the remove people option and if i just click on that as you can see i can just select over here and if i just close it up i have been removed so yeah these kind of features are built in in miui right now so that's just great now as the power button triggers the me ai right now you have to keep it holding for a moment it shows that like circle completion you need to keep it holding for about like three seconds and if you want to go into the me ai home screen it will look like this it is in chinese it can only like get you results in chinese so it will not work like a global rom for sure i couldn't actually change the language but you know this animation or like once you are doing this you know this animation which os it looks like from of course the miui dialer of this rom has the call recording options and you can record calls i don't have a sim card in the device that's why i cannot show you by placing a call and this rom also has the super wallpapers working perfectly fine yes you need to download them separately but after downloading all of the super wallpapers are working great no need to worry about that and while doing normal tasks like opening x app and stuff the scrolling it's perfectly smooth no problems whatsoever but yeah you will definitely notice it's a little bit slow like when you compare it to evolution x or the project elixir all those things yes the x scrolling seems a little bit slower to me but yeah it's working on 120 hertz no problems by the way opening play store and stuff and searching for any app and you can just install it straight up no problems with it and it is bgmi so it is taking a little bit time but yeah you can just search any app it will work in the test ufo website as well it shows about 120 hertz or 120 fps so no issues with high refresh rate on this rom and in case you are wondering about the overall ui performance here are the android geekbench score with a cpu stress test on this particular build to get you an idea about the overall ui performance and switching between apps it's not a problem at all it just switches perfectly fast and just opening and closing apps this is how it looks like yes the redmi note 10 pro doesn't have a super powerful cpu but I would say the animations are perfectly smooth, no problems whatsoever. And we have the fingerprint and face data right here. You can also add your face data, of course, and you can also have the app lock working in the app section. If you go into the app lock, of course, app lock will work with the fingerprint scanner. Now, let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed. I will just tap over here and as you can see, it unlocks. As there is no double tap to sleep, I'll just use the power button to lock and just notice how fast it unlocks. It's just very, very fast experience no problems whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner that i have faced now if i show you the face unlock you will notice it is blazing fast i'll just double tap to wake and it is searching for the face and it unlocks like i don't have even the phone pointed towards my face so if i just be in the frame just like this as you can see as soon as it detects like i'll point it towards other side it cannot see me right now it is not unlocking but if i just point the device towards my face Okay, so let me try one more time. Okay, so I have to tap here to actually use the face unlock and as you can see it unlocks. Let's try one more time. Just notice if I point the device towards my face, it unlocks super fast. Just unlocks within a second or even faster than that. So face unlock is very, very fast, I would say, with Xiaomi's hyperways that I am noticing. In the battery settings, this is how it looks like. We have the mode and you can change it to performance mode, the balance mode, battery saver and the ultra battery saver. And it will actually show you an estimate. And in the battery protection, we have this temperature. It shows normal and we have the number of charge today. It shows one time. But yeah, you cannot really see the battery charging cycles in this particular ROM as well. And let me actually show you. I have actually seen that with the depth check app. And here, if you go into the battery settings, you can notice your charging cycles. And it, this is actually true. I have gone through about 334 charging cycles with this particular battery. And in the notification panel, this is how it looks like. I have been actually using the Aku battery app. And with that, my estimated battery life, seven hours, I would say seven hours of screen on time is decent. In Android 14 with HyperOS, I'm getting about six to seven hours of screen on time, even with a three year old battery almost. And the screen off is about 24 hours, or you can say one day of standby. And we have the combine news as 18 hours. The standby drain is not much in this ROM. And yes, the fast charging over here is also working perfectly fine. No need to worry about that. In the home screen, we have this home screen customization. We have the with app drawer or without app drawer. And we have this like scroll bar and stuff. And in the recent panel, this is how it looks like. Has the RAM usage showing up right there. And if you tap and hold, of course, you will get the me AI kind of button with the lock app option in memory and the split app and the floating window. Then we have the normal settings to the app or the app info. And we have this swipe down on the home screen to actually get the notification shade and the animation speed I have selected to fast. 
Now we have the fill sales of uninstalled apps and other settings like the lock home screen layout. But there is no double tap to sleep for some reason. And we have the five by six layout as well in case you want to use it. And in the like arrange reasons, we can enable the show memory status. And you can have this vertical reasons as well in case you need that. In the display settings, we have the light and dark mode. And in the dark mode, we have the like adjust text and background automatically option you can disable that right now we have the sunlight mode as well it will turn up the display's brightness a lot more i guess with a lot more contrast we have the advanced textures and the color scheme right here and you can have that saturated kind of look we have the refresh it up to 120 hertz you can set of course on the redmi note 10 pro and we have the font settings which will look like this you can change the font thickness i guess and the font size in the sound and vibration this is how it looks like still and there is the touch kind of settings right here we have the haptic feedback and you can actually customize it i have been actually using with a lot lower of haptic feedback that feels nice and if you scroll down mode we have even the me ai voice we have the vibrate for calls and the vibrate on silent and the profile video for incoming calls is still there and we have the sound effects kind of things you can actually adjust it or you can change it to Xiaomi or dolby atmos let me actually go back we have the additional settings right here you can control or like turn on or turn off multiple different kind of sounds of course miui is improving with hyper voice and in my opinion this is one of the best versions that have been launched by xiaomi i hope they keep it optimized in global versions as well as they do in the chinese roms so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Steve from kdn signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now